Hey team, okay, I'm just making a video real quick to explain how to use Hootsuite for your business and how to use it for scheduling into your challenge groups. Because, well, the challenge groups take up a lot of your time and they're really where you're gonna get you know, the best results for your clients and you're gonna help your challengers get results. You don't wanna be consumed 24 seven by your challenge groups and I know sometimes that it can be really consuming when you're in there posting all the time, checking messages, whatever. So when you're scheduling your posts, this helps it look like your, to your challengers that you're in the group more than you really are. Now you still need to go into the group and you need to check in and answer questions and, and make sure people are reporting in, but um, this is a really helpful tool. Now there's also the option to post to your Facebook page or to your Facebook like page, but I don't recommend doing that because Facebook sees it as you sharing from a third party and we know that Facebook doesn't put the third party posts as high as they do if it was coming originally from Facebook. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. So I'm just gonna talk to you about scheduling for challenge groups. Okay, so I'm in Hootsuite. I'm gonna go to my dashboard. All right. Then I'm gonna go over here to Publisher. Okay, now. You need to go up here. You can see I have a lot of my groups already scheduled or already connected to my Hootsuite. Now, if you don't have anything connected yet, you're going to go down here, find profile, scroll down, add social network. I want it to connect with my Facebook, and I'm going to click on connect with Facebook. I'm going to enter my password. Uh oh. Okay. Then I'm going to import from Facebook my groups. Let's say I want to import in my 21 Day Fixers group, okay? So that means I'm gonna schedule my 21 Day Fixers group. Now, if any of these groups are done, when you're done with them, you can go back in and unselect them. Like I'm done with my, I'm pretty much, we're done with the HHH push, okay? So I'm gonna remove that, if that's done. So I just added 21 Day Fixers. You can see my current group is already selected. Finished importing. Okay, it's gonna take a minute to think. Now what I do is I, I create all of my posts beforehand. So I have a Word doc. Um, oops, let me open that real quick. Um, all right, so I have a separate Word document. And so I'm gonna go over to my Word document and I'm gonna copy and paste my post for next week. So let's say I'm gonna schedule my Monday post because I already have my Sunday scheduled. So I copied it from my Word document or Evernote or whatever you use to keep track. Now it's easiest if you keep everything ahead of time in a Word doc or on Evernote or Google Docs because then for your future groups, you can just go back and copy and paste and rearrange maybe the posts or reuse the posts from your old groups. All right, I'm gonna post it into my message. All right, so this is my Monday post. Now I'm gonna select which group I'm gonna post this in. I'm currently scheduling this for my 30 day nutrition success challenge. Select it, it's only gonna to post to there. There, it's already set. Now I'm gonna click here and um, I don't like when this link pops up, so I'm gonna cancel that. Um, and I'm gonna schedule it. I want it to go off Sunday or Monday morning um, around 6, 15 a.m., that's perfect, and I'm gonna schedule it. Then there, it's in my scheduler, and if you need to double check what group it goes into, oh no. Oopsies. If you need to double check what groups it go, goes into, you can just hover over it. You can change this if you ever need to, if you need to go to edit it, or if you need to view it in calendar, or if you want to delete it. So you can see I've got a few scheduled here. And then I'm also gonna do my, hey, check in with points here for Sunday that I do, because I do my groups that are based on points. So I'm gonna find my 30 day nutrition success group. And then on the evenings, I like to have them check in around six o'clock in the evenings. So select PN and there we go, schedule. So I have two posts per day usually that are scheduled, one in the morning to go off, one in the evening. So I only, theoretically need to check into the group one other time and that's to go through and check messages or to check their, um, make sure they're reporting in and look for any questions and motivate them. But to them, it looks like I'm in this group like three times a day, um, which is great for our customers, and our challengers to know that we really care about them, which I do and I really am spending time answering questions and whatnot and following up with people. So 
this though just saves you some time, especially if you're traveling, if you're working your day job, like if you have family, you can't always get on between six and seven o'clock in the morning and make your post. So schedule it, save yourself some time. Um, this is also something you can hire out. Um, you can have somebody else do, you can pay them $4 an hour to do this for you. Um, just something to think about. So hope this is helpful for you guys. Hootsuite really is a great tool for our businesses and have a great day.